Bro, gotta get ready for this video, bro. But you all in my face, though. Hold on. Camera's not even situated or nothing. Don't be in my face. Let's take a minute. Let's roll out. We gotta get some dog food, man. You all right? You ready for this? Because they're gonna get on me with my seatbelt. So I'm gonna put my seatbelt. Man, look, you all up in the camera, man. My bad. You all right? Let's roll. Oh, gotta put it in drive. All right, welcome you guys to Butler Kennel Rock Waters, man. Today, um, we're just off to go pick up some dog food. Got my four month old boy with me, Kong. Oh, I'm sorry, not Kong. Definitely not Kong. Goliath. Goliath, you said what up? So we are about to get a whole. Uh, let me see you, Bubba. Since everybody wants to see a big old four months old beast. Uh, everybody wants to see the big old beast right here. So we're going to do a video with my boy in the camera. You know, he don't want to see me. I want to see Goliath, right? Goliath's all dirty and musty. Playing around in the outside and everything else. So try to get this thing situated, man. I apologize, you guys. Normally the camera's already set. People picking their dogs up, walking their dogs. I'm all on the opposite side of the road and everything else. Um, so I don't know if this camera's gonna, this mic is gonna pick up Goliath breathing like he's just a big beast boy. So anyway, uh, we're gonna pick up some dog food. Just wanted you guys to see Big Goliath. Tell me what you guys think about him, man, four months old. Um, I read some comments. Uh, thank you guys for all the congratulations, the wishes, and everything else. I truly appreciate it. It really does mean a lot. I cannot tell you guys what that means because uh, reaching 50,000, man, close all that up, like I said. Um, reaching 50,000 subscribers, man, isn't me reaching it, it's you guys tuning in. So, thank each and every last one of you guys for tuning in and subscribing and all that kind of good stuff. Since then, we've already reached, I think, another 700 um, just in the last couple of days. So, thank you guys, man. Uh, that really, truly, truly means a lot to me. Honest to God, it really does, man. Uh, no way to go but up. So, of course, like I told you guys before, I've been reading the comments, I've been reading everything. Uh, for you guys, uh, what you guys want to see and all that kind of stuff as well. What's up, man? So, I'm going to let the cat up the bag. Um, I have some litters on the way coming right now. So, this is a uh, a true tribute to how to purchase a dog from Butler Kennel Rottweilers. That's what I'm going to probably title this thing or something. I don't know. Sometimes I do these things and talk about it and then read, watch the video and decide to let you guys know what I'm going to label it. But anyway, I think I'm going to label this uh, how to properly purchase a dog from Butler Kennel Rockwallers. Um, this is off the top of the head. I can't remember everything off bat, but I think I'm going to just go over the main subjects of... Oh, we had a bad accident down there. Got ADD or something. Keep stopping. But anyway, <laughs> um, to get a dog from Butler Kennels, I think the first thing is to do is first do your research. Um, I, I encourage people before you buy a dog from me to look around at someone else's dogs to see that way you get a good comparison. Just like if you want to buy a car or you're trying to see the best bang for your buck, best bang or whatever, just the quality overall. Um, do some research, look around, ask some other breeders, compare the dogs, um, you know, compare my quality. I mean, I encourage it. So if you the first step is to do your research, find out about the Rottweiler breed, because all I do is breed Rottweilers, okay? I don't breed any other kind of dogs. Uh, I breed Rottweilers. There's no such thing as the German and Americans, all that kind of crap. People are going to just argue with me about that, but who cares? It's just I breed Rottweilers. Uh, the official name of the dog is called a Rottweiler. There's nothing in front of it, nothing behind it, just Rottweiler, okay? So, um, then once you've done your research on the Rottweiler, you figure out whether or not this is your breed for you, then you're going to do a comparison. Then you're going to start looking around, which I highly encourage. Look around, see what kind of dogs people are selling. Check their prices out or whatever. I don't care about the price or whatever, but look at their dogs, see the quality. And then you compare their dogs to mine. Um, 
you know, I'm not for everybody. And I'm not going to tell you, oh, compare the dog because you'll come back to me anyway. If you don't like the way I do business and anything else, that's fine. Um, you know, but most importantly, check that out. Check the way they do their dog. Talk with the breeder. See, that's how you feel. Talk to me. And then when you talk to me, you figure out about, you know, how I am with my dogs and everything else. You kind of already get an idea. You guys watching the channel. If you watch my YouTube, then you already know how I am anyway. Um, secondly, well, third is um, when you call me, the first thing is uh, call me by introducing yourself. Don't just how much like that starts my conversation off already in a negative way. I'm going to be honest. With you. I hate that. Like. How much? How much for what? I don't know what you're talking about. I sell more than just dogs, but you know, um, you call on my phone, I think, to properly introduce yourself the proper way. Some sirens are going by. Let's see what's going on. Um, a lot of people still drive and you see, um, it's be crazy. But anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, but if you are, if you're calling me, first introduce yourself. Hey. My, don't who's this hey what's your name like don't call my phone ask me who i am like that's not proper i mean i think it's just trying to get people to do things the right way you know what i mean that's just me i like to do things in a business format and, you know we can be casual but i mean i'm not saying you gotta be all stuck up and yes yeah whatever y'all guys know that's not me but i think if you're calling someone introduce yourself hey man i'm so and so boom to get a dog uh i'm looking to purchase a puppy whatever the case is how much are your dogs da, 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 whatever that's fine um, I think that's the proper way to do it. Um, don't just start rambling about, you know, the dogs you had 10 years ago and this and that and everything else. I think um, if we reach that conversation, let that be a conversation after we handle the business part about the reason why you're calling. Man, I got people calling me and I can't even get a word in. Hey, yeah, man. Hey, who's this? Yeah, my name is so-and-so. I got a dog, man. I had a dog 10 years ago and I had this going on, man. And my dog was 180-pound Rottweilers and this and that, man. And I used to breed this and do this. And then, man, 20 minutes go by and I haven't even gotten to say anything. And then they're like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? That's kind of a... I'm not saying it to be rude to anybody, but it's just to be realistic. It's like, what about... Hey, look. Give it, see it? Want him to see it? All right, so not saying to be rude to anybody or whatever, but um, I just, I'm a very busy person, man. I'm always on the go, I'm always working, I'm always doing something. So that precious time that I'm taking to answer questions and anybody, you know, if you call me, I'm gonna answer, if I'm gonna call you right back, or you know, I'm gonna allow you to speak or whatever, but just kinda, let's get the business part out the way first the reason why you're calling first you know what i mean when i say business um you're trying to figure out about a dog if you're calling to check up on your dog to see what your number is at all that kind of good stuff or whatever and if you're calling me to check on your number i already got your number saved right you guys know anybody who called me already on the list man come on man what are you you acting like diddy bro all up in videos here you want to get down some um look let them see you. there you go but Sorry. So we got that part done. So you introduce yourself. Uh, you you state what you're calling for. Um, and then we handle business that way. And then from there, then once we've already established what we're trying to establish about that, then if we got other conversations we can talk about, that's fine. Now, all you guys that are calling me are wondering about... Um, hold on. All right, you guys, we got a lot of accident. Hold on one quick second. I'm going to pause right quick. All right, there was a... Oh, God, Lee, Jesus Christ. That car is totally gone. All right. Um, if, if you guys are wondering, like, okay, how do I get in contact with you and all this stuff? I, know, I don't discuss prices and all that kind of stuff in my timeline. Uh, you guys, so you guys should know by now, I've never have in 16 years. Um, I'm not going to start now. So if you really are serious about getting in contact with me, don't ask me on my timeline how much for a dog and this and that and that. And if you inbox me, um, and if you inbox me about a dog um, and I message you, because pretty much at the end of my first conversation, is I'm going to give you all the details. And after that, my next message is going to say, if you have further questions to call me. 
because I'm not a texter. I don't text all day, day, all. I'm working. So I can't, I usually have a headset. I can answer while talking or whatever, work while talking. So if you call me, it'd be easier. Don't text me and then I say, hey, if you got further questions, please feel free to call me, everything else. And you still want to ask a million questions after that. I'm not going to sit there and answer. If you realize that your first question has more than five questions in it, just pick the phone up and call me because I'm not going to sit there and answer five questions through a text. That's crazy. And I think you should get a better format from a breeder that want to express themselves to you better by talking with you. You should want to talk to your breeder and understanding that breeder and that person's uh, knowledge about the breed, you know. Um, cause anybody can text and sound good, but when you talk to someone, uh, the, I don't know, well, really, uh, uh, I don't, that's crazy. You want that the person, when you talk to that breeder, you should get a clear understanding about what is it that your questions are being answered. And I just believe the best way of format of talking to someone is through, a, uh, through calling. Um, so my first line of communication, I would say to you guys is if you want to communicate with me, call me first, always the best way two then you text me um my last is email i really don't check email as much but when i do i try to get all at the same time um just so much going on i'm one person man i'm not trying to be rude to anybody like i said i'm just one person uh so basically that's about the main things of how to get in contact with me about um and of course call my number it's an 843 six seven zero three three four six now my number is from south carolina i'm in texas it's a south carolina area code number i had the number since i was 17. i was 17 years old when i had that and i had that number um and i've never changed so it ain't going nowhere so a lot of people ask me i thought you were in texas man i saw your number it says south carolina got it uh, i say it all the time so i'm from south carolina we're located in texas um and yes we do ship dogs all over all over we got dogs so much different countries it's crazy um so we've shipped dogs all over different countries here in africa even uh canada uh we got dogs all over man like when i say it's all over it's all over so we're very blessed to, to be able to do that so yes we do offer shipping we do uh you can pick your dog you can fly in and fly back out with your dogs you can drive in and drive back out with your dogs or you can have your dog shipped to you either one um but those are things that when you call me and don't message me below in this inbox in my messaging messing line whatever this is here in the comment section so how much for a dog and you know i think it's just tacky honestly that's just me i think it's tacky i think if you really want to know about a business with someone call that person get an understanding for yourself and then kind of go from there all right so there you go. That's our answers, man. There we have it. And we should be good to go from there. You guys be good. Um, I'm about to probably go live for you guys. Um, but you guys be good. We out. Deuces.